What's up guys? Music is back today uh, with a little bit of different content than what we've been used to. Today I'm bringing you some Magic the Gathering content. We will be opening this box of Theros Beyond Death. And uh, let's just hope that we have some uh, some good luck on this, uh, on this opening here. And I'll just be kind of talking through everything as I'm opening. And um, I did get this box at my local FNM. And um, with it came a buy box promo, and uh, I'll kind of be talking about that shortly. But uh, let's go ahead and, and get these packed out. So, from the uh, pre release event, one thing I did notice was that unlike normal packs, these are um, quite flimsy. They uh, have a lot of diff, a lot of leeway with the cards inside which could cause some problems uh, later down the road with damaging the cards and that kind of thing. But we're just gonna set these over here. This right here is a buy box promo that came with a pack. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it comes with a uh, card Athreos. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh, it looks like there are two cards. So oh, let's set that back up. It comes with our promo Athreos, and I guess it comes with a basic one of the new new art base sets that are pretty cool. But um, I believe this Athreos is looking about $10, $12 at the time of filming, which is a couple days after pre-release. So prices for everything are subject to change. We'll just go ahead and set this up here as an additional profit. And let's just uh, start cracking some bikes. So the real big hits you probably want to see for this set are, well, if I, oh yeah, there's a handy dandy little, little guy. Little bit hits you probably want to see for this set are um, Heliod and uh, the Titans, Uro being the better of the two. So we'll just kind of, let's see here, what's the best way to do that? We'll set tokens over the side. We'll set these basics because these are going to be worth a little bit over here. And our first rare of the pack is a, uh, is a pretty decent land. This is a pretty much a knockoff Maze of Ith. It's uh, not quite as good as Maze of Ith, but still pretty cool to see. And then Uncommons, uh, oh, this is actually one of the better Uncommons for the set, Field of Ruin. And then Commons, not much to see there. So we'll just kinda, let me figure out a better way to put these. So we'll do, we'll probably actually just put Commons off screen and Uncommons up here and get to the next pack. So like I was saying, Heliod and Nero are the uh, mythic slots that you really wanna be hitting. And rare-wise, uh, you probably want to be hitting the Chromantic Lantern creature. Um, oh, first full of the pack. Uh, this is not not the rare you want to be hitting. Um, and I'll try to uh, put the prices of all these rares and stuff on screen and kind of keep a running total to see how this box is looking um, price-wise. Commons, commons. And uh, hopefully this box will go better than my pre-release, which um, did not go very well. And oh my god! Okay, that is um, this is this is where we want to be. This is this is the <laughs> oh goodness, this is the pool that uh, pulls that you want to have. So in this set, the uh, enchantment creatures have oh, and it's a bonus, awesome, sweet. So. Let me just talk about this for a second. The enchantment creatures and other things have alternate frames. And uh, this is a foil alternate frame mythic god, which is super, super sweet. So I guess we can put that in our foil slot, but that's super nice. Um, and there is our rare and the uncommons here. And I'm trying to keep an eye on the camera as I'm filming this. This is my first time doing something like this. So there may be some shots where you miss out on the card a little bit, and for that I apologize. I'll try to recenter this a little bit better, but that's a super, super sweet pull for, what is that, type three of this? That's uh, that's really awesome. All right, wolf token. I'll start pulling off of this way. And awesome, that is, I think, the best rare in the set currently. Um, super sweet card, I'm really excited to pull this. I actually want to pick up a few of these, uh, especially for Commander. I'm not sure what we'll see in standard or anything, but uh, super, super sweet card, super good. I'll we'll probably see a little bit of Pioneer play um, in the right deck. I doubt we'll see it in modern, but super, super sweet card regardless. 
and uh, definitely the rare that you want to be pulling in this set. All right, token, and here. All right, not not a super cool rare, not not anything special. Um, definitely pretty good, and in, uh, in a limited setting, but I don't think we'll see much play anywhere else. And, uh, oh, foil, and, oh, a rare. And it is a rare land. So the land cycle in these, not the super, not the super best. Um, most sets will have a good rare, rare land cycle. The, uh, Stry lands are just kind of middle of the pack on that, but, uh, definitely not too, too bad. I, um, would rather get a rare Stry land than, uh, some of the other rares in this set, because at least I can play with those and Commander and the like. Oh my goodness, and that is a really nice mythic as well. Uh, hitting our mythic Ashi Ashiot Planeswalker. It is sadly not the uh, alternate art like this, uh, this Erebos has. Uh, all the Planeswalkers have a really sweet alternate art. But a uh, really, really awesome pull. Really good mythic there. Um, still not hitting the the mythic slots that we're, we're, we're aiming for with uh, Heliod or, or Uro. But we still have plenty of packs to bust, plenty of packs to open to see, see how we're going to do on that. And, um, oh, Thassa's Oracle, super, super sweet card. Uh, this is a new win condition. It's kind of like a lab maniac effect. And uh, I'm really excited to have this for Commander and be able to use that in that format. Uh, oh, and that is one of the other really good uncommons for the set. I may have passed one or two already. Um, but in the uncommon slot, like I said, there's not a whole lot. Field of Ruin and Destiny Spinner there being the two best to my knowledge. I uh, haven't update or uh, recently checked on pricings for everything but i think those are the best uh, idyllic tutors wow sweet that's another really solid rare hit for us um recent reprint actually this uh used to be a 30 dollar card it's oh wrong pile uh i put the ashiok in the wrong pile um super super sweet card and uh really good in the right deck um let me pull idyllic tutor back to the top so we can go in order here but uh, and also another really really good little pull Value-wise, anyway. All right, foil. And our rare is Protean Thaumaturs. So, this card is decent. It's okay, I guess. Um, I had... This was my pre-release promo. And um, I have to say, I was not pleased with that as my pre-release promo. And I actually opened another in my sealed pool of six packs. And... Um, Definitely not not the thing you want. That uh, card's only as good as the cards in your deck or the cards in your opponent's deck. So it's super, super uh, hard to judge its its skill level. The, uh, the intervention, so this is the first one we pulled so far. Seems that most sets will have some kind of uh, cycle of, of rare. Uh, this this uh, Theros Beyond Death set had the in, in, interventions. They're okay, some of them better than others. Um, I'm not a super big fan of this intervention, the Thassa's one. It was also in my sealed pool. Like I said, my sealed pool was not super great for the pre-release, but ended up having fun, ended up doing well. Uh, I went 3-1. Also, uh, here's our rare for this pack. Pretty cool little rare. I, I like how cheap it is. It does a, it does a good bit of things. I'm not sure if we'll see any play in any, in any formats, but super, super cool. Um, super sweet removal right here. Uh, really good. I think this will... Um, see a little bit of play in pioneer maybe but um there's oh and that's that's it's still crazy to me uh, underworld dreams and downshifted to an uncommon for uh for this set used to be rare but uh no longer this set decided it was not worthy of the rare slot oh foil basic land god these foil basics are super super gorgeous I, uh, I really like these land cycles. I know a lot of people aren't, aren't super thrilled with them and aren't super happy, but uh, I think they're super, super pretty, and I look forward to putting them in some decks. And our rare is Dalatos Crafter of Wonders. Um, I remember this is one of the first spoilers that, uh, that we ended up seeing on the... Um, it was pre-Wizard pre spoilers. It was one of the um, accidental leaks or uh, fear and conspiracy theories, not accidental um but anyway that's a that's a 
story for a different video. Um, not a bad hit, not the not the best hit, but definitely not the worst. E to extension. Uh, it's a decent card. Not a super big fan of it. I think the artwork's super super awesome though. I think it looks really cool. Um, but not a horrible horrible pull. All right, We're getting to probably about the halfway point on the box. Still haven't hit any of our super big, super big money cards yet. We're still holding out for one of those, but um, look, I'm feeling, ugh, feeling hopeful. All right, our Sater or Sat Satter? No, I think it's Sater. Our Sater um, Lord, super cool card. I think uh, I think it gives Rural Agro a new, uh, a little bit of new. New things to do. I like the uh, the Billy on it, but I don't know how much play we'll see. And uh, I do see an alternate frame. This is one, another one of those alternate frames. This is uh, one of the uncommons. Um, I did, uh, speaking of sealed pulls, I did happen to pull two of the green uncommon legendary uh, in this in this style of frame for my sealed pull. So that was super cool. One of them being foil, one of them being regular. Oh my goodness, this pack does not want to come out. But uh, those were cool to see. And uh, Aspect of Lamprey and, oh, Underworld Breach. There is a lot of speculation on this card. This card uh, isn't seeming, it's just, it's seemingly innocent card. It doesn't, doesn't seem like it's in a break formats, but uh, a lot of talk, a lot of people thinking that it will cause a lot of issues in uh, the more expanded formats, um, like Modern or Legacy and that kind of thing. Uh, I'm not so sure myself. I guess I'll just have to wait and see. How it, uh, how it does in those formats before I can make my judgment on that. Um, let's see here. All right, Atris Oracle of half Truths. I actually have not really read up on this guy. I'm not sure what he does. I have not seen this card. When he enters the battlefield, target opponent looks at the top three cards of your library and separates them into a face-down pile and a face-up pile. Put one pile in your hand. And, uh, oh, okay, I remember this card. Yeah, this card seems pretty cool. Um, seems like another toy for Esper Control and Standard and the other kind of, the other, other decks that are similar to that. Uh, feels a little like, um, I can't remember the name of the, the name of the card right off the top of my head, but the one that, when it attacks and deals damage, it, uh, exiles cards from your opponent and then you can cast them and stuff. Feels kind of like that. Another good, um, Elspeth who conquers death. Uh, this is a pretty cool saga. Um, Whenever I see a white saga, my first thought is uh, History of Benalia, and this is not quite as good as History of Benalia, but still a good, good solid pit pool, good solid card to play. Um, but again, nowhere near as near as solid as History of Benalia was from uh, Dominaria, I believe. Uh, another Stryland. This is actually my favorite art from the set. Uh, this Temple of Enlightenment here. I um, remember the spoiler happening. I remember seeing the extended art versions of. Uh, of these lands, and when I saw the standard art version for this, I just kind of fell in love, and I think the art's super, super sweet on that. Um, another another good little pull there. Let's see what we have next. Also, I haven't really talked on the tokens much, but I think the tokens for this set are really, really nice, um, along with the uh, along with the basic lands. Again, I know a lot of people aren't super, super happy with the uh, the basic lands, um, Storm's Wrath. Uh, it's an okay card, good decent board wipe. Uh, I know a lot of people aren't super happy with the ba new basics, but uh, I think they're really pretty, and I definitely plan on um, acquiring some of those for for decks, as I said earlier. All right, next, that's a deep dwelling. Sweet, this is uh, this is another one of those gods. Uh, this is our, I believe, our second mythic of the. Hold on, let's see here. Well, the foil mythic doesn't actually count towards your mythics per box. That might be our first mythic of the box. Oh, no, Ashiok, I forgot about Ashiok. Okay, so it's our second mythic of the box. Sometimes you'll get uh, three, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, rare or less. I think we should be able to pick one more mythic, but this is a good one, this is a nice one. Still haven't hit that jackpot money one, but uh, super sweet to see. Definitely better than some of the other mythics in the set. Oh, that is what we wanted to see, boys and girls. Uro, Titan of Nature's Rast. Crisp's $30 bill at the time of this 
time of filming, time of this video. And uh, like I said, I'll be trying to put the prices up on screen as we're filming, but uh, that's super awesome, super sweet. That definitely uh, definitely helps out with uh, the box value and uh, the what we're what we're talking about. God, that's awesome. So those are our three mythics. Uh, it's kind of unlucky if we'll, that we'll see another one, but um, you never know. And uh, I mean, in all honesty, I'm pleased with those three mythics. I think those are super sweet and super solid. Uh, oh, here we go. This was uh, this was probably the best card in my seal pool at the pre-release. Um, and uh, by itself, it's not super great, but filled with enchantments and other kinds of things, it's pretty solid. And uh, I really enjoy drawing cards and, and making them pretty big. The Gary reprint, the Grey Merchant of Asphodel. This was uh, super cool, and I'm super excited to see that in standard, see what people are doing with that, breaking that card, because that is a really, really powerful card. And they did upgrade it to uncommon, uh, where it used to be common. So that's another little shift in, in rarities done by Wizards for this set. All right, foil and enigmatic incarnation this card's pretty cool it's like a uh, birthing pod but uh for like turning your enchantments into creatures so that's pretty cool i uh, i really have to see a deck around it not sure if we will but definitely a uh, interesting mechanic that we don't really see that much in uh, newer sets and that kind of thing we did have neo is it neo form neo genesis uh, i think for more of this part one of those two um oh and a third temple okay so we've hit three temples um, we still have quite a few packs left. We might get the full uh, the full five. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, but uh, those are, again, like I said, pretty solid pulls. And um, I'm not going to complain about getting the uh, the rare, rare tap lands from most any set. And the deer cracking. Oh, my goodness. This card. Uh, I love this card so much. I just, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna play. I like the tokens, man. I think they're super cool. And I honestly don't even know, I haven't paid attention. I don't know if we've gotten any, any of the tentacle tokens, but I just think they're super fun, super sweet. And oh, here's another one of those alternate frames. These are uh, super gorgeous, really good job done by the, uh, the artists and everyone over there. I uh, think I still like the storybook frames from Thurnable Drain a little bit better, but uh, these are, like I said, super sweet, super cool. And, um, I'm not gonna not gonna complain about getting those because those are gonna be worth a little bit more than the regular version of that card. Oh, and our fourth myth that's sweet, and it's the Elspeth. Again, this card is uh picking up a little traction, picking up a little uh comments. A lot of people are saying it's the worst Elspeth, some people are saying it's really good. I don't know. Uh, it's yet to be determined. I think it's really cool, and I think the uh ability to continuously just get it back is uh super cool it is a little sad that it only has down tick abilities so it's inevitably going to die like all planeswalkers but it, it would be a little bit cooler i think if they at least had um some kind of plus ability on uh on that elspeth there and uh, again it's hard to it's hard to look at the new walkers and just uh talk about them being good from uh the experience that oko left us with um being such a such a powerful card oh this card's super sweet i uh i really like the flavor of this card um i just i think ash shot's a really cool planeswalker and a really cool just concept and uh, i like this little ah oh god what's the name of that creature i can't remember there was a creature that kind of had the the same same effect very similar to this anyway um not a bad pool not a bad pool Coming down towards the end of this, we're uh, got some packs spilling over here. Let me pull this throws down. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs left. Uh, eight counting this one right here. So uh, getting closer to the ending of this video. And uh, there's another one of those interventions. Um, this one, again, I, I think a lot of people in the Magic community have been talking about lately how how low powered white stuff is and this just doesn't seem like a very very new idea for white the life gain or or you know the hate but um it's uh i don't know i wasn't very pleased with many of these in, in interventions but it is the way of wizards to include you know stuff like that tectonic giant decent spell i guess uh not a super big fan of the play style but uh, there's another one of those alternate frames. That's pretty cool. In our uncommon slot. And let's see here. Moving on. 
another human soldier and oh foil in the dare track and sweet oh Oh, oh my goodness, guys. So this pet has a foil rare, which probably isn't the best financial rare in the set to get in foil, but I'm super pleased because I love this card. I, I love the idea of the tokens. But what is behind this beauty? Oh my goodness. Clothes God of Destiny, another god in alternate frame. That is super, super, super sweet. That is really awesome. So I think that gives us five mythics so far for this box. That is that is wild. I'm not sure if they've upped the mythic count or if this is just, you know, a larger a larger mythic box. But gosh, that is that's a super super sweet pull. Super awesome there. And in my excitement, I seem to have knocked this pile over. Let me just fix this real fast and get these divided back into their appropriate piles. Wow, that is, that's just insane. Foil rare along with alternate frame mythic. That is just really, really cool. Really, really awesome. Let's see if we can keep the luck rolling on this. Oh, speaking of those tentacle tokens, I just think that's super sweet. Just, uh, I, I just think it's a really cool idea. Um, and appropriately has the island behind the tentacle. And uh, another foil, cool, cool. And our rare, Ephemia the Cacophony. C cacophony, I'm, I'm sorry. I do not know how to speak English. Um, seems okay, not uh, not super crazy. Um, it's not bad mana-wise, two mana, two one flyer. Seems pretty good. Um, and then it also has additional text, so that's always a plus. Let's just keep moving on. I don't think we're gonna be able to beat, uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to beat that four rare along with the alternate frame mythic pack. That was just, that was just insane. Uh, foil in common and Eidolon of the Obstruction. This card's pretty cool. Uh, again, a lot of people have been complaining about white lately, and I think this set gave white a few really cool things. Um, this isn't something you see often, making up uh, taxing Planeswalker abilities, that is. Um, and then, of course, white had Heliod in this set, which, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to pull at our five mythic count. It's, it's just seeming very unlikely, but still, so far, I think we've done super, super good on the box, and I think value-wise, we've, uh, we've turned out really, really well. Um, done significantly better than my purely cool, which is all I really wanted. And, uh, that's always a plus. Dream Trawler, super cool card. Don't think we'll see it too much in, um, any, any format, really. Uh, it just doesn't, it's just so, so, so much mana. It, and it's so many pips. You got two blue, two white, and two tall. It's just, I don't think we'll be seeing that much in any format. But super cool, super cool idea. And, uh, an interesting card. So last two packs here. Um, let's see if we can get something crazy in the close. Really doubt it. Um, that that one pack was just insane, and I don't think we'll be seeing anything that cool. And oh my gosh, foil temple of malice! Wow, a second foil. Wait, we had the foil mythic, the foil rare, and then this foil. So we had three foil rares technically with the foil mythic in there. That's super sweet. So wondering what's underneath and storm herald. Um, Oh yeah, I remember seeing this card. This card's pretty cool. Uh, I think it's a, a little bit of a you know a, a different take on on recursion and graveyard and that kind of thing because usually this mechanics for creatures and that kind of thing. But uh, this guy hits auras, which is super sweet. But um, wow, that's a, that's that's three foil rares and they were all pretty solid foil rares. Uh, it's you know it's minusing the Nadir Kraken, but I like that card, so that's flavor for me. So last pack here, we got our Wolf Token our swamp and what we got we got it is not a creature okay what color is it looks to be black maybe oh it's an intervention the big sad um not a horrible card uh probably one of the man i hesitate to say one of the better interventions because most of them just aren't super great but the edge selling cards from graveyards is uh definitely definitely pretty solid um especially in, 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 in Pioneer, not necessarily standard, but this might see some Pioneer play. Other than that, I'm not real sure. And uh, I think uh, overall this box has been pretty solid. And um, when I get this video up to you guys, I will have the pricings and everything at the time of filming. And uh, we'll kind of check that out together. But just kind of just doing a little recap here on the box, if I can get this to side. Our foils, we have this foil rare. Uncommons and common to this foil rare. Uncommon, common. Foil planes, which is super sweet. Not super, I don't think it's going to be super worth money. It's probably the worst land to get in foil. 
but uh man super early into the pack we had this foil Airbus alternate frame which is super sweet and then in our rare slot we had our first mythic at Ashiok and then our next mythic at uh, Thassa super sweet pull and then followed by Uro super super good pull right there with Elspeth and then in the close this Clothis god that pack of Clothis was just insane so overall coming out I think we uh, I think we did really solid I think this this box was pretty good I am interested if uh, anyone else that watched this video has opened a open a box and I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys pulled and what you think about this set so far but uh thanks for watching and uh this has been Mizits so uh tune in next time